what's up everybody it's Amaya so today's video is going to be one that I've never done before but I've always wanted to do and it is going to be talking about my top picks for the Ulta 21 days of beauty sale if you guys have never heard of the Ulta 21 days of beauty sale where have you been this is such a great deal you need to get on this they do it twice a year once in the spring and once in the fall the spring one's usually better just saying and they put a bunch of products on 50% off or more and they have a bunch of deals going on it's just 21 days of makeup lovers heaven basically so I've seen a lot of people in the past do videos where they talk about their favorite deals and what they think you should pick up and all that sorts of good stuff and I always wanted to do it but this is a very busy time of year for me so I've just never gotten around to doing it and this year I decided you know what we're gonna do it. I've always wanted to do it and we're going to do it. So yeah, that's what we're gonna be doing today. I'm gonna be going through the entire catalog that I have right here. And I'm gonna be telling you guys what I think is the best deals and what I personally would pick up or maybe some things I'm going to pick up. And yeah, it should be pretty fun. But before we get into that, be sure to check out my Instagram and Twitter. They are right over here. All my other social medias will be in the description box below. So check them out if you wanna. As always, no pressure. You don't gotta, but uh, check them out if you like. And uh, yeah, let's hop right in. Okay, so like I said, I have my little Ulta catalog right here. And I love the spring sale because it always falls right through my birthday, which is awesome because I'm usually getting a lot of gift cards and just doing shopping and buying myself stuff for my birthday. I'm also an Ulta Platinum member, so I get like $10 off coupons for my birthday and all sorts of other cool stuff, two times the points, I think. So it really works out because I'm buying a lot now anyway, so go me. Um, but anyways, let's get right in. So if you get the Ulta catalog, on the first page you will see all of the deals. I believe you can also look at this online and if you just Google like Ulta 21 Days of Beauty 2019 Spring, everything will pop up there too. But it starts on March 17th, which is Sunday, and it ends on April 6th, which is a Saturday. So my birthday is March 28th, so it runs right through the middle of there, which is very exciting for me. Okay, so the first deal that I want to talk about that I think is super awesome is on March 18th. And this is the Dose of Colors Desi and Katie Eyeshadow Palette Friendication. So this is by Dose of Colors, like I said. It's typically $55, but is on sale for $27.50. This is an absolutely beautiful palette. I have been wanting to pick this up and I just might because it looks so beautiful and for $27.50 that is such a good deal especially because it was originally $55 so you definitely get some nice shimmers in there some nice mattes you have a mix of like neutrals with a pop of blue and green I think it's a really unique palette and I've heard really really good things about it and really good things about dose of, dose of colors eyeshadows so I'm really wanting to pick that up okay the next thing is on March 20th Mac pro longwear paint pots are going to be $11 as opposed to 22 which again that is fantastic if you're a huge Mac paint pot fan this is an awesome time to stock up because you can get two for the price of one which is awesome. But if you are a MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot lover, again, excellent time to stock up because they're going to be only $11 each. Okay, um, on March 21st, right after that, the Becca Backlight First Light and Ever Matte Primers will be on sale for $19. Again, they're originally $39, so $19 you can get them, which, I mean, $19, still a little bit expensive for a primer, but these seem to last a long time and lots of people like them so if you are wanting to stock up or if you're just wanting to try it definitely go and pick it up for only 19 bucks you are definitely saving yourself some good amount of money and like I said I've never tried it but I've heard really really good things about these primers and people seem to love them so if you've been wanting to try it out now would be the time okay on the 22nd the Too Faced chocolate gold eyeshadow palette is going to be $24.50 and it's regularly $49 so again I have not tried this eyeshadow palette I do not plan on picking it up because it's almost an all shimmer palette but people have been loving this palette and Too Faced palettes at $49 are a little bit up there especially because this is an all shimmer palette so there's only so much versatility you can get out of it but if you are someone who's been wanting to try this out you've been looking to just try it because people are really loving it again now would be the time it's going to be only $24.50 so $25 bucks, which I think is a pretty good price for an eyeshadow palette I mean there's NYX eyeshadow palettes that are like $25 so to get a Too Faced chocolate gold eyeshadow palette for $24.50 this is a great deal also I didn't like put this in one of my choices but I'm looking at it now and I feel like I should um, the Urban Decay Primer Potion is going to be $12 it's typically $24 
this is on March 22nd as well so throwing it in there that's not necessarily one of my picks but it is a really popular primer so it's gonna be 12 bucks um on the 23rd this is the time to stock up on your Anastasia Beverly Hills brow products the brow wiz is going to be 1050 each as opposed to 21 dollars I might pick up one of these because I am in need of a brow pencil and I've been wanting to try out the brow wiz for a really really long time I've just never just never done it but if you've been wanting to try it out or you just want to stock up again now is the time you want to pick it up it's only 10.50 that's basically drugstore pricing so really good deal with that okay we're skipping ahead to the 26 and this is something that i'm probably most definitely going to pick up this is the ofra and nikki tutorials highlighter trio it's going to be only 14.50 originally 29 dollars so you get three different highlighters here one that's like a bronzy one that's like a peachy and then one that's like a light champagne and for all four of these it's going to be only 14.50 which to me that's drugstore pricing i think that's excellent and i love 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 ofra highlighters they're just like my favorite highlighters ever i'm wearing rodeo drive today i just I love them so much so I will definitely get a lot of use out of this I think $14.50 is an excellent price for this even $29 isn't that bad but $14.50 is even better so if you're a big fan of Ofra highlighters definitely check it out okay right after that on March 27th the Smashbox photo finish primerizer is going to be only $21 regularly 42 so people love this primer you guys like I have seen so many amazing reviews about the primerizer again I've never tried it myself so I can't speak to it but People seem to really like it, and if you're a big fan of it, now would be a good time to stock up. It's supposed to be a really great primer for dry skin. Again, I cannot speak to the effectiveness of this primer because I have not tried it myself. But look up reviews for it. Almost all of them will probably be positive because I have seen so many positive reviews on this. So again, just throwing it out there. Okay, on my birthday, March 28th, the Buxom Full On Plumping Lip Creams will be only $10.50 each, regularly $21. I have actually bought these from the sale before. This is when I bought White Russian. I really like these lip glosses. I'm actually wearing White Russian today and another one. I will put the name right here because I don't remember what it is, but it's one of their full-on plumping lip polishes, I think, not lip creams. Um, but the lip creams, they are going to be only $10.50 each, so if you're looking to stock up on White Russian or just any of the other shades, this is a great time to do it because, again, $21 is a little much for a lip gloss, but $10.50, it's almost drugstore pricing nowadays, right? Okay. Then I'm skipping to March 31st. Urban Decay eyeshadows and Moon Dust eyeshadows are going to be $10 and $11 each, regularly $20 and $22. So again, I'm not a huge Urban Decay eyeshadow fan, but I know that they're really popular and I know there's so many people out there who love them. And I feel like $10 and $11 is a pretty fair price for a pan eyeshadow that actually comes in a little compact. I mean, that's what you would pay for a MAC shadow. So I feel like that's a pretty fair price. Um, and again, if you're looking to try them out or you really like them good time to stock up okay on april 2nd the lime crime venus palettes are going to be 19 dollars each they have venus 2 and venus 3 pictured here one and two two and three i don't really know i don't know the numbers of them but i i'm debating on this one i didn't pick it up last year and i almost did but the venus palettes are really well loved and i feel like they're actually really beautiful and they don't get enough hype um i really like the color schemes in them so i'm debating whether to pick this one up or not but like i said 19 dollars each regularly 38 dollars that's a pretty good deal so Maybe I'll pick one up. I'm not sure. I have a lot of eyeshadow palettes right now, but these look really beautiful. Okay, on April 3rd, the Cover Effects Setting Powder is going to be $17.50, originally $35. This is one of Jaclyn Hill's favorites. I know a lot of people like this powder. It's a very popular one, so if you're looking to try it out or maybe, again, restock, this is a good time to do it. Um, people say that it works really well for oily skin, and it also works really well for dry skin. Again, I can't speak to it. I haven't tried it myself, but... People seem to really like it. And then the last one I'm going to say is the Benefit Cosmetics Gimme Brow Volumizing Eyebrow Gel on April 6th. This is going to be $12 as opposed to $24. I think that $24 is kind of a steep price for an eyebrow gel, but $12 seems much more reasonable. I actually have this in my brows today. I love using it before I put in my brow pencil. It's the first step I do just to kind of thicken and plump up my brows a little bit more. It really is a nice brow gel. I like it a lot. I have a lot of other brow gels that I use, but this one definitely is unique and I didn't used to like it as much, but now I really like it. So I think it's a really good deal. I might 
pick this up because I have a little sample size and it's running low. So I may or may not, depending on how much I spend during the rest of the 21 days, I may or may not pick this up. I know this product is a cult favorite, so if it's a favorite of yours, this is a good time to restock. Okay, so moving on to some skincare stuff. There's a little skincare section that they tell kind of all of the things that they're going to be having on sale. Um, and there's two things on here I wanna mention. The first one is the Bosha Luminizing Black Charcoal Mask. It's $23.80 and it's originally $34. So this is not a huge price cut, but it is something. And I really, really like this mask. I've been using it for years and it is the only peel off mask that does not like terrorize my skin. Like it's my favorite peel off mask ever. I love it. I feel like it really does work with my skin. It's not too uncomfortable. It doesn't hurt when you rip it off. It's a really, really nice mask. Mask. So if you're looking to try a peel off mask, I recommend this one. I think that $23.80 is still a good price for this, even though it's a wee bit expensive. It's still a good price. Um, and then the last for the skincare is the Dr. Brandt Microdermabrasion, which is going to be $55.30 for the full size, regularly $79. And again, super steep price in the first place, but it is a little bit of a discount. I love this scrub and I won't be picking it up because that's just too much for me to spend. But if I was able to, I totally would. It's my favorite scrub. I just, it's so, so good. There's also a Pores No More Microdermabrasion, which I also love. It's just a really nice scrub. It really gets into your pores, really cleans you out. It's the only scrub that I feel like actually does a really good job that I've tried. Other than the St. Ives Apricot Scrub, it's the only other one that I really, really love and would repurchase. Okay, so now here's some more makeup. I think this says like up to 40% off. Um, so I'm gonna mention a couple. The first one is the Tarte Maracuja Oil. It's going to be $28 as opposed to $48. I really like this oil. I tried it out a couple of years ago and I really liked it a lot. I know a lot of people like this as well. It's a really nice skincare product. Worked really well for me. I have normal to dry skin. At the time, I was a little bit more dry than I am now. And it worked really well. I would mix it in with my foundation. I would use it just on my skin. It was really, really nice. So I recommend it. $28 as opposed to $48. It's a pretty good deal. Also, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Blush Trios are going to be $18 each. They're regularly $30. And I'm mentioning these because I've heard really good reviews about them. And they look really pretty. But I am going to say... Check out your TJ Maxx first, your TJ Maxx and Marshalls, because they've been there for a while. And I think actually like some of the same shades that are in here, and I think they're like nine bucks. So just check out there. Just, you know, check it out. See if you see anything you like before going here. But if you're not able to find them there, then this is still a good deal. Some money off. But uh, TJ Maxx and Marshalls has also had them for quite a bit. So I would just double check. On the Too Faced Tutti Fruity Twinkle Twinkle liquid glitter eyeshadow. Wow. They're going to be $13 as opposed to $22. I am interested in picking these up. I haven't heard a ton about them, but I am a huge liquid eyeshadow fan. I love them. These look really pretty and sparkly, so I'm probably going to go in store, swatch a couple, see what I think, maybe pick one up because $13 I feel is pretty close to drugstore pricing. That's not too terrible. So my pick one up, they look really gorgeous and it looks like you get a lot of product too, which is awesome. Um, and then also Smashbox Photo Finish eyeshadow primer. This is going to be $12, regularly $21. I have a little like deluxe sample size of this, which has lasted me forever. So this will probably last a really long time too. It's an excellent eyeshadow primer. I'm actually wearing it today. If I ever want my eyeshadow to last for a long time, this is what I use because it's just so nice and long lasting and it really works well with shadows. I like it a lot. So putting it out there if you like it as well, I've been wanting to try it. Highly recommend. And then the last thing on this page is the Laura Geller Baked Blush in Brighton. They're going to be $16 each, regularly $28. I have one right here. This is in the shade Tropic Hues. This is what it looks like right here. It's a really pretty blush, kind of like a peachy, pinky type of shade. Really, really, really nice. I like it a lot. It adds a nice glow to your cheeks without looking glittery or sparkly. There's no chunks in it or anything like that. And I love how it's kind of marbled and baked. It looks really nice and lightweight on the skin. So if you're someone who likes baked blushes or like kind of a shiny blush that's not glittery or sparkly or too much, I really recommend this. If you're looking to get into shimmery blushes but you don't want to go like full in like metallic, 
this guy right here is excellent. So those are going to be $16 each, which I feel like is much better than $28. Okay, so another thing. The Ulta Beauty collection is going to be buy two, get two free. So this is the whole line. It's going to be buy two, get two free. It says bath, makeup, brushes, beauty tools. And I think this is really awesome. There are definitely a few good products from this line, from the Ulta Beauty line. I'm going to put a list right here uh, some of my favorite products from this line some things that i think are worthy of picking up i'm going to mention a couple in just a second but if you are interested in checking out the alta beauty line buy two get two free it's a pretty good deal okay so also buy one get one 50 percent off is going to be l'oreal eye and face makeup ardell lashes eco tools brushes and sponge new and limited edition wet and wild all my eye makeup and revlon eye makeup regularly 199 to 1999 so if you are liking any of those brands love me some wet and wild i'm going to put some of my choices for l'oreal right up here so you can check them out if you're interested. Some of my favorite things from them if you want to get them. This is going to be my list for Ardell. These are my favorite Ardell lashes. I love them. They have some great, great lashes and just they're spectacular. So the Wet n Wild says new and limited edition. I'm not sure exactly which ones that's going to be. It's probably going to be what you have to look in store for. So I'm not going to put any of my favorites because I'm not sure what's going to be on sale and what's not. Also the Ulta Beauty collection is going to have weekly beauty deals. So from the 17th to the 23rd there's going to be some $4 each products and the two that I am looking forward to are the Liquid Concealer which is regularly $9 going to be $4 and the Eyeshadow Singles which are regularly $8.50 and they're going to be $4. I've been wanting to try out the concealer because I've heard really good things about it and the Eyeshadow Singles I actually have a couple and they are so good. Like unexpectedly good, underrated. So check them out if you're looking for some cheap eyeshadow singles. You might want to see. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe that is all that I wanted to mention. So again, if you have the catalog, go through it, see what you like, see what you don't, or go online and look it up. These are just my suggestions, some things that I thought were really good, some things that I might pick up. But again, everyone has different makeup styles. You may find different things that are more exciting to you, but these are just some of my favorites and I thought I would share. That's it for this video, you guys. I hope you guys like it. Please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know in the comments what you're going to be picking up or some things that you think everybody else should pick up from the sale. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and happy shopping. I'll see you in my next one. Mwah. Bye. It's delicious.